Hi, my name is Deputy Chief Kyle Dowdy with the Farmington, New Mexico Police Department. I've been a police officer approximately 19 years and living next to the Navajo Native American Reservation shaped my view on what I was going to write my thesis about. Imagine living in a world where your health isn't just about your next doctor's visit, but shaped by where you live, work, and play. As I pondered this unique way of thinking, I was driven to write my thesis as I saw an opportunity to bridge the gap between well-intended financial support and its tangible impact on the ground. As I dove into this world, I decided to focus on Native American communities as I live right next door to the largest Native American reservation in the United States. Have you ever driven across an area in the U.S. where 15% of the people do not have electricity, 30% do not have running water, and 90% don't have access to broadband internet? Well, I do it routinely. This is one reason I highlighted how big government grants, like those from the American Rescue Plan Act, aim to improve indigenous people's social determinants of health. Social determinants of health are the conditions in the environment where people are born, live, learn, work, play, worship, and age that affect a wide range of health functioning and quality of life outcomes and risks. This progression led me to view the grant process through the lens of the Navajo, Cherokee, and Choctaw tribes. I critically examined whether these funds genuinely make a difference. My thesis isn't just an academic exercise. It's an actual call for reform. I argue that while financial support is vital, having a clear, transparent framework that allows us to see the ripple of change that these grants create is equally important. It's about ensuring that every dollar spent reaches its destination and brings about real, measurable improvement in people's lives. But here's the twist. As I dove deeper, I discovered that the path to measuring the true impact of these grants was fraught with complexities. It was like trying to navigate a maze with no apparent exit. The existing reporting guidelines were a tangled web that obscured the view of tangible outcomes, making it challenging to ascertain whether these funds were genuinely making a difference in the lives of the intended communities. My findings? It's complicated. Despite good intentions, measuring the real impact of grant spending is like trying to catch smoke with your fingers, thanks to inadequate reporting guidelines. My call to action isn't just about more money, it's about more innovative, transparent ways to ensure we can see the change when we invest in health. In the spirit of turning the grant process from a painful procedure into an engaging partnership, my thesis proposes a mix of transparency, community engagement, and measurable goals. We'll even invite the community to the party, giving them a seat at the table, turning them from just spectators into co-producers of the grant's success or failure. And instead of wandering into the wilderness of vague objectives, we can carve out measurable, sustainable goals that will guide us towards lasting impacts. It's about turning the grant process from a behind the scenes bureaucracy to a front and center performance where accountability takes center stage, ensuring that the finale is a standing ovation for societal improvements. So as I stand here today, sharing the essence of my work, I invite you to ponder a world where improving health goes beyond medical treatments to embracing the very essence of how we live, work, and play. It's a vision where health investments are seen as well as felt. <laughs>